and welcome to the Gossip Talk Show. I'm Derek. This I'm is Tigger. And I'm Jason. And we just wanted to say hi and welcome. First thing we're going to talk about is we just finished up with MAL. Mm-hmm. And Mid-Atlantic Leather. Mid-Atlantic Leather. And these still know more about it because I'm the good Christian of the show and I, I don't do that. Too hard. Oh, God, here we go. Well, I, was, I only know about it. I was there in a protest that we did uh, for my Christian organization. But our current Mr. MAL. Those should be on your knees. That, that is okay. also true. <laughs> But our current Mr. Mal's a, a he's the current Mr. Capital Pride. He's Mr. Matt Bamford. So congratulations to yes, him. Yes, props congratulations. to Matt. So. I won't see pictures. He's all a five foot four and, and leather. He's hot. I got cold chills. Mm. I heard he, he's actually from your neck of the woods down there in uh, Trailerville, Aww. from Virginia Beach area. He's, I ain't from North Virginia Beach. Oh. I'm from down south. I'm farther down. Kind of like, like my man down. Okay. Now, <laughs> oh, speaking of men going down. Oh. Andy, Dick. Andy Dick. Oh, we just love our Andy Dick, who says he's not gay. But guess what happened? He was arrested in my home state of West Virginia, actually, in Huntington, West Virginia. He was caught groping and kissing a bouncer repeatedly. repeatedly. Now, here's what I don't get: in in a gay bar, it's not a gay bar. Though. I, I he put, was in a comedy club. He was in a comedy club. But okay, but in a gay bar, if you're going to be doing that, that's considered foreplay. It is. It's welcomed. That's so I'm like, how, but I thought I, that's how you got tips. The, that's how you get tips. That's how you get past the belt. Oh, okay. That's how you get past the belt. <laughs> oh, okay. yes. But I just think it's funny that I'm like, okay, if you're going to go anywhere and you're going to do something like this, why go to one of the most inbred hickey states in, in the United States and do something that stupid? But it's also a bouncer. The the muscle of the club mm. with little wimpy Andy Dick. Yeah. And he couldn't handle him on his own. He needed to call the police. I think the bouncer wanted publicity. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, I it's would. all about publicity. That's a, that's all anybody sees. Or Andy wouldn't share his blow. Either way. That's a good it, yeah. point. So, oh, moving on. We all have love Oprah in one way, shape, the or form. It's, we, we bow mm-hmm. to the Oprah. There was a lady, her name is Robin Okrant, and she was just on the Bonnie Hunt show. And she yeah. talked about living Oprah. For a year, for a year, she decided to do whatever Oprah said she to do, I and she, do she wrote a book. And the name of the book was "Living Oprah." And I guess the name "Cult of Oprah" was taken. Uh, yeah, that's because <laughs> if you saw this it. woman's eyes on the body, huh? She looked because after you untied me and let me stop watching it, <laughs> this lady had crazy eyes. She had. I mean, yeah, she drank she the was, Kool-Aid. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's yeah. pretty sure. She drinks it every day. And mm. there was just some really weird stuff on it. Like, every, everybody should own a pair of white jeans. And leopard shoes. And leopard, and leopard shoes. Sho- okay. Flats. Flats. Leopard flats. Okay. Yeah. No For woman starters, should own flats to begin with. Could, you, could get you guys Only see... Only women wear flats. Right? Could you guys see my six foot two... <laughs> I'm ignoring that. Could you guys see my six foot two, 400 and some pound butt in a pair of white jeans? It would no, look I'm like... I'm serious now. I'm... Uh, wh- what? Six foot two, four hundred pounds. The great blizzard of two thousand ten. Amen to that. The worst Mark was Mellow the man. showering before sex. Oh yeah. Oh Who my god. I mean, that? sure, if you're gay, it's a good idea to. Well, usually you, know, prepare you prepare yourself ahead of time to do your homework as you would. Uh, <laughs> um, but so, before sex for straight people. No. I mean, I've I mean, never had vagina, and I'm not sure. Well, no, I wouldn't know what to it? do. I think they have teeth. I'm just going to be honest yeah. with you. I think the JJs have teeth. You touch it with chopsticks first, and I think, and see if it bites. I can't even use chopsticks. Maybe that's why I'm gay. As you so. said, they're smooth and silky, don't you, Truth? Oh. We love women yeah, so much. Reason. Oh, yes. Oh, God. Oh, we love yeah. It. Deep breath. Puck Ugly. from Glee. Give us a moment. You know, that's my future ex-husband. He's all of our ex-husbands. What are you talking about? He is 28 years old. That means he's legal. He's playing a 17-year-old. I still can't help but feel dirty. I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> it just when he... Remember the... I think it was the first or second episode of Glee when he comes out of the shower. The first... Oh, yeah. And well, he just has the towel But is it because he's the bad boy that we all like uh, him? More than no, like... I, I like him because... Mm, I, I think it is him. because the bad and boy... And would he be hot without a mohawk? No, and no, he I don't think so. and he I hates think the mohawk. The mohawk. Does it. He has said know. that he hates having that mohawk. I feel like he and I have a dishonest relationship already. He's twenty eight, not seventeen. He's not a Jew. He's Italian. Like I, I feel misled by him, and I like that. Italian it makes me though. love him more. They yes, we, on, we always. Oh God, don't go there. <laughs> jackets. Oh okay. Uh, what? what are you talking? About? I like jackets. I wear a lot of them. You like hoods, is what you like. <laughs> so oh. Uh, 
So now, give it up to Puck and Glee give comes it up back to Puck on. And Glee in comes April. back on in April, April. Yep. and we are looking forward to it because we have heard that our girl Kristen Chenoweth is going to oh, be yes. back. Oh Adina Menzel. And Adina yeah. Menzel, and they it's both like start together, reunion. and it is going to be awesome because Adina Menzel is and also absolutely congrats fabulous. To the actress that plays Rachel, whose name I don't care. Uh, but she was nominated for a Golden Globe. Yeah. Yes, and Glee and actually, and Glee, Glee actually won the Golden Globe yeah. for Best Variety. Was it Variety? Ver- comedy or Variety comedy, Show? Yeah, comedy, comedy or variety, variety Show. Glee actually won the Golden Globes. Yeah. And when we talk about the Golden Globes, mm. we had a moment at the Golden Globes that which one? Th- there were <laughs> yeah. several. I'm sorry, I did not like Ricky Gervais as the host of the Golden Globes. I did oh, not yeah, think I that. I appreciated his sarcasm. I liked his sarcasm, but I, I just don't think <laughs> I don't think he'll be asked back. I don't think I he'll be asked. Yeah. I just don't think he did that good of a job. No. Anybody that can drink at work. I, like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all for it. That's all you do at work. If I had a book to promote or a movie like Ricky Gervais, I would be doing it now. Oh, God, you and me both. Yeah. But the moment, I think, when Sandra Bullock won for Best Actress in a Drama. I think it's the beginning of the end of days. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure it's a sign of the apocalypse. Her. I love her as an actress, but this is for serious actors, people that have honed their craft. She cries like in every movie. Meryl Streep. She people, can play anything. You know, and she beat the girl from Precious. Uh, and oh, how? Who is Precious amazing. Was, yeah, that girl showed you that Precious was it. Uh-oh. <laughs> American Idol. Uh, Do we love American Idol with Paula or without Paula? I, I like it without. I like it with. I think we're going to throw down here. Yeah. I'm going to side with Jason on this one. It is not the same no. without Paula. I mean, Paula's always drunk and high on it. And that's well, what made it American That's Idol. why we continue to watch it, but I think her being there is the reason we started watching it, because outside of a few fans of Earth, Wind, and Fire, nobody knew who Randy Jackson was, or Simon at the time. They, Simon is the reason people continued to watch it. Paula's the reason they tuned in. Yeah. And bringing Kira on and giving douchebag Seacrest more money. Uh. And the, uh, oh, he needs just need to come out of the closet. I'm sorry. There's no need for him to come out of the closet. Nobody cares. I don't even think we would want him to come out I mean, of the closet. Sure, he's I mean, fisting Clay Aiken. Everybody knows. Who yeah. isn't fisting Clay Aiken? I think <laughs> Kathy fists Clay Aiken every now and then. But no, yeah. I think I think this is the last year for Idol. It might have one or two more years a death of a run. Yeah. Uh, I love Ellen DeGeneres, my idol, my hero, but I don't think she has a place on that show. And so You Think You Can Dance, which is also produced by the producers of Idol, oh, yeah. offered Paula the job there after they shammed her mm-hmm. on Idol, and then she didn't accept it. She didn't give him a yes or a no. She, she said, just... I might show up, I might, mm-hmm. but she never did, like through no. the finale. Yeah. They kept yeah. the seat there with her name Yeah, on they had the seat yeah. there. And they were they doing that to try it. to get people to yeah. watch. See, I don't right. like her because of that. I mean, she acts like she's better than anybody else now. I don't I think mean, she does, but she, she had. every man on that show was making more money than her. Ten times more money than her. And I think and she was Simon. the biggest name on Simon's making more money than everybody combined, but <coughs> Douchebag Seacrest makes more money than her. Oh, well, Randy Jackson makes more. Kara was making what she made as a nobody, and it, quite frankly, an annoyance. Oh, does yeah. anybody like Kara? I hate Kara. Uh, sweetie, Kara. sweetie. I hate Kara. Yeah. I hate Kara. Sorry, I hate her. Yeah, just... she, and no one knew who she was. But what about the guest judges? Okay, uh, no, I do like some of the guest judges. I've only liked one. Kristen Chenoweth. Kristen Chenoweth. Well, she was, she was the only guest judge I think otherwise I they were trying to replace Paula with people that couldn't sing, like Posh, Mary J. Blige, Shania Twain, all artists in their own right, but... None of them are great vocalists. Uh, uh, Shania Twain, though, I give her, I give it to great her. Great songwriter, but yeah. not She's amazing a, vocals. Yes. Her vocals, and I think. And, and Simon almost ass fucked her. I'm pretty sure he was oh, about yeah. to rape her. Oh my god! He was just a. Oh. Yeah, the he's whole like time. he's like us when there's a hot man around. But I just, I'm just totally on, lost. What do you mean I'm, when? <laughs> but I'm, I'm really, I'm like. I, I don't I take offense to that. <laughs> so you two just shut up. Well, fantastic! This has been the Gossip Talk Show. I'm Derek. I'm Tigger. And I'm Jason. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> well, our producer Robert and I here parked the feed behind a dumpster last night. He was so drunk. Yeah, that's what he was doing and behind the dumpster. dumpster. And yes. in a metro and station. In a, yes, that. Which metro station? We would like to give a shout out to the Van Ness <laughs> metro station. <laughs> <laughs> to the people that got to clean up after him. Welcome to the Gotham <laughs> <laughs> I did not fart! I felt the whole room vibrate. Oh my god.